Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Pav, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do a quick and easy sky replacement inside Adobe After Effects. Nothing too complicated at all, I can promise you. I'm not that great on After Effects at all. It just involves a bit of tracking, a bit of masking, and you're done. So we'll jump over into Premiere Pro, then into After Effects, and I'll show you how to do the effect, and hopefully it will help you out in some way. All right, guys, so we're here in Premiere Pro now, and I've got the 10 second clip that I want to replace the sky with here. So as you can see, the sky is not looking too great. Yeah, we wanna just right click this, replace with After Effects composition. Okay, so now that's opened up in After Effects. First thing we wanna do is just select our clip, go up to animation and track camera. Okay, so once the 3D camera tracker is done, it's gonna provide you with a load of track points on your clip for a uh, better view of these track points if you just go to the track point size here and then just increase it there. So what we wanna do is you wanna find some points that are on the horizon, so not in the sky, but as far back as possible. So if we just zoom in a little bit, um, so we've got these points over here, these, these are pretty good. So you can just sort of right click and select a few points here that are all in the background something like that and you just want to right click and create solid and camera so once you've done that as you can see down here there's now a solid and camera that have been created for a better view of the solid if you just go down here to track solid and just rotate the x rotation and y rotation now you can see that that solid is tracked onto the clip so if you we play through and as it plays through you can see that that solid is now stuck onto the background pretty well um, yeah so that's the first step and now all we want to do is bring in our image um, so clouds image so we've got our clouds image there. So in the project tab over here, you've got your clouds image that you've imported. So you just select your track solid layer down here. And, and on the project tab, if you just hold down Alt on your keyboard and drag this over the top of your, your solid layer, it's actually replaced the solid with your sky, your sky layer, which you can see that's there. It's pretty small at the moment. So what you can do is just go into here, transform, scale it right up you might want to you might need to play around with the rotation a little bit as well and just make sure that it's level and the position you want to position it back into into the frame scale it up a little bit more so it's covering everything yeah so there we go and now what we want to do is on the clouds picture you want to click on it go up here to the pen tool and you just want to make a mask across the horizon a little bit not not directly on the horizon like this but a little bit higher up just a rough mask all the way through leave some space on the edges all the way around there we go and now what you can do is just so yeah just bring the clouds layer up so that it's sitting up on top of the horizon of the drone clip and now all you simply want to do is just go to where the mask is click on the mask one drop down and just feather it in Nicely, I found on roughly around 200 on the feather is, is pretty decent. And yeah, all that's done is just kind of feather the, the two skies in together. Um, and you can just kind of mess around with this a little bit so you can bring it down a bit. And that is it effectively done. Um, as you can see, it kind of merges them in together with the, the horizon because it's quite far away anyway, you wouldn't expect it to be perfectly sharp 
and in focus um, same with the sky so this part here the fact that you can mesh them in together kind of feather them in together is not something that you'll notice too much and in fact if I switch off the, the new clouds that we've brought in you can see that it's it's not really affecting the, the background too much um, if you feel like it is you can reduce the feather even more you go to about 150 and as you can see there you can still see the details in the background and if we play through you can see that the clouds are now stuck with the clip and as you're moving forward you're actually moving in to both the foreground and the background pretty seamlessly to make it a sell it a bit more you probably want to add a bit of color correction so if you just go up to the effects tab and type in lumetri color search for lumetri and just bring that down firstly onto your we'll go firstly onto the drone clip layer just go to basic correction and do whatever sort of color correction that you normally do so if i bring up the contrast of that foreground layer quite a bit which I would normally do anyway and yeah that looks pretty decent I might do a few other little creative things that I normally do such as bringing in a little bit of blue into the shadows and a little bit of orange into the mid-tones and yeah secondly bring in Lumetri color as well into onto your sky layer and sky probably a little bit too blue I would say so you can quite easily fix that just go to down just go down to curves and just look for hue saturation curves take this eyedropper and go to probably the bluest point which is over here and this is if you if you drag this down quite a bit yeah, as you can see you kind of bring it you're just selecting the blue only of the of the clouds picture and you can see that you kind of just taking down the saturation of of the blue only which i think sells it a little bit better into the whole clip rather than it being a bit too blue as you can see this is with that's a bit too much I would say um, maybe I took a bit too much out so I just bring a little bit more back in and yeah once you play around with the color correction of both images to try and sell them in a little bit better I feel like it works um, so if we go here again to look like originally that's what it looked like originally the sky and that's when you bring the sky in and think that I mean for me that looks fine considering the amount of work that you actually have to do which is not that much that looks good um, as you can see the background again already is, is pretty faded as it is quite far back in the distance when you bring this, the new sky in so yeah just play for again one more time and have a look looks like it's done a good job to me so there you go guys that's how you do that effect that sky replacement as I promised you wasn't that complicated wasn't that difficult and uh, I think it gives a pretty good end result there are other ways that sky replacements can be done things that get a lot more complicated such as rotoscoping which is very intensive on on your actual computer on your on your CPU GPU it, um, it does harness a lot of that and it does slow your computer down quite a lot but it can give you a great result as well if you're looking to do more complicated sky replacements. So if you're trying to go from day to night, rotoscoping could be the way to do it. You can also key out your sky using a luma key effect, which is also built into After Effects. There are two other methods or ways that I know you can do it, but for example, for this kind of sky that I wanted to replace it in with, it worked perfectly fine just to mask, and I think it gave a great end result. So if you found the video helpful, um, Please do me a favor giving it a like and uh, if you want to see more stuff like this in the future then obviously subscribe and 
yeah, that's all I've got to say. Uh, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.